Aloha everyone, welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name's Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and to the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. Today, we are talking body. Now if we're talking body. All I wanna do is rock your body. I don't know what it is with me in songs. You know that game where someone says a word and then you have to think of a song right away that has that word in it? I'm so good at that game. <laughs> I do so good at it. I don't know why I remember songs so well. I should honestly do a live stream where you guys just like comment random words and I think of songs. Huh. Follow me on TikTok if you want to see that. I do live streams there, so long as Trump doesn't shut it down. This video is all about my favorite recent body skincare products. Now, I have seen so, so, so many requests from you guys asking about what products I recommend for specific issues, all this kind of stuff. And I'll be honest, I'm not huge into body skincare typically because I know I say this all the time, I know it's getting annoying, but it's so humid here. So honestly, using body skincare beyond sunscreen is not really like a thing. Like I'm not using body lotions and body creams because you will sweat that shit out in a heartbeat and it will not look cute. But I have still been listening to your guys' requests and trying a bunch of products. And over time, I have managed to find man, managed to find some awesome products that I love. And I'm super excited to talk with you guys about because I haven't shared these before. You get an exclusive look. This just in. Also, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys do like these videos and you do want to see more. I know so many of you guys comment asking about how to take care of specific issues like psoriasis and body eczema, keratosis pilaris, and a bunch of other skin issues. And I'll be honest, like I feel like those issues are best addressed by a dermatologist. Dr. Dre makes awesome videos about all of those body issues here on YouTube. And you know, I, I guess if I see a lot of requests about it, I'm happy to make a video, but I just don't feel that that kind of matches my YouTube presence. Like I like to focus on more fun things about skincare rather than this is the specific skin issue. This is what it means. This is how you treat it. I'm just too dumb for all that. But you can check out Dr. Dre and other dermatologists here on YouTube that make a ton of videos about that if you really are interested in finding solutions. So without further ado, let's get, get into it. it. The first product is today's sponsor. And ooh, I'm so excited to talk about this product because it it is so cool and so innovative. Today's video is sponsored by Kosas. Thank you so much Kosas for partnering with me. If you aren't familiar with the brand Kosas, they focus on like clean beauty and they're really popular in Sephora. They have different makeup and skincare products, lip balms, but this is the baby I want to talk about today. They recently came out with their Chemistry AHA Serum Deodorant. Now I haven't talked about deodorants a lot on my channel, even though I really should and I do want to try a lot more, but here's the problem when it comes to a lot of clean deodorants. They just don't work for me. A lot of times they make my armpits smell worse and I don't know why. I'm not a chemist, but for some reason they just don't really work. But this product takes deodorant to a whole new level because guess what it is? It's a chemical exfoliant. Yes, like the ones I always talk about on my channel. And did you know you can use chemical exfoliants as deodorant? I didn't know until like a few months ago. Let's talk science, bitch. So in our armpits, there's a lot of things that contribute to the BO smell, but there's one specific type of bacteria called Corin bacteria that basically chills down there with all the excess sweat. Corin bacteria really thrives in a higher pH environment. And because our armpits with the sweat are a higher pH, kind of a greeting brown for BO to start. Now, chemical exfoliating acids are a much lower pH, so when they're added to our skin or any solution, they bring the pH down. I know, I know, this sounds complicated, it sounds sciencey. And the cool thing about corn bacteria is that it doesn't emit that BO smell when it's at a low pH. So when you add chemical exfoliants to your underarm area, it actually neutralizes the area so you don't experience as much BO. In addition to that, you guys know the benefits of chemical exfoliation for the face. It helps to brighten the face, get rid of any dark spots, prevent against breakouts and acne, Acne, and it does the same thing for your armpits. If you shave your armpits, chemical exfoliants can really help to prevent against ingrown hairs and the bacteria that builds up in the pores there. And if you are someone who struggles with staining from using deodorants over time, or for whatever reason, using a chemical exfoliant will help to brighten that area. So I've definitely become a big fan of the whole chemical exfoliant as a deodorant type of strategy. And a lot of the information I got for this video can be found in the link below an article from Lab Muffin Beauty Science. She is just such an incredible resource for so much information. And she's actually a huge fan of using AHA as deodorant. So if you want to learn more about it and have your brain go to mush from all the science, <laughs> feel free to go read her article. But this specific formula has mandelic acid, one of my favorite exfoliating acids because it's a lot more gentle than glycolic acid but still is effective. It also has lactic acid, glycerin, and an ingredient I haven't seen in a skincare product before, shikimic acid, which is supposed to reduce like excess oiliness, sweat, and sebum, and operate similar to the exfoliating acids, which when I read about it, I was like, um, why isn't this in every one of my skincare products? Because a bitch is oily and I could use some oil control. And it's so cool because this formula is also fragrance free. Woo woo! That has to be like one of the very first or only deodorants I've ever found that is fragrance free. I don't know, I just got really excited by this product because it utilizes new innovative strategies for 
skincare and deodorant care as opposed to just another clean deodorant. So I'm a big fan. And if you want to get one of your own, go to the link in my description box below. You can shop there. Thank you so much Kosas for sponsoring this video. And thank you guys for always being really cool about my sponsorships. I say this every time, but I'm so grateful to have you guys as an audience that holds me to a really high standard. So I only work with brands that fall in line with my very, very strict standards, which are far and few between, you know? <laughs> so let's talk about body washes. I'm so excited to tell you guys about this product because when I found it and I saw the ingredient list, I was like, what? How does this perfect of a product exist. It is the Desert Essence Fragrance Free Body Wash. I actually got this per recommendation of a subscriber because this brand has a mineral SPF lip balm, which I've never found before. Super cool, I've been trying it. But this product specifically, oh my God, the ingredient list is amazing. Typically body washes are formulated with more harsh ingredients, you know, to be able to get away at the dirt and the sweat that builds up. But this one, the first ingredient is aloe. The second ingredient is green tea extract. I rarely find expensive products that formulate with that high of a percentage of green tea, let alone this super cheap body wash. Like Desert Essence is really affordable. <laughs> it has jojoba oil, a great oil for hydrating the skin, willow bark extract to help prevent against breakouts, yucca and sea kelp, really innovative ingredients that I don't find in many formulas and no stripping or harsh surfactants whatsoever. But when you use it on the body, it does have like a light foaming experience. I guess it suds up, it doesn't foam, it suds up. This body wash is so good. You only need a little bit, it spreads really far. One of the best body washes I've ever found. And honestly, I would not be mad if someone used this on their face. I would even use it on my face. That's how good the ingredient list is. <laughs> ah, muy bien. Oh, by the way, all the products I'm talking about in today's video are listed in the description box below. If you do feel like supporting me and doing a little bit of shopping, feel free to use those links, but no pressure whatsoever. They're just there as a resource, hopefully just to make things easier for you. Cause some of these products are a little bit harder to find. Obscure, I would say. Another one I've really been enjoying is the Cetaphil Ultra Gentle Fragrance Free Body Wash. Now this one, I just kind of bought on a whim cause I was like, eh, you know, I need something that's just gonna operate like a basic body wash. And I've actually been really impressed with this one. It does have sodium lauryl sulfate as the third ingredient, but I don't find that problematic in a body wash because your body is a lot more resilient than your face. And the second ingredient is glycerin, so it helps to compensate for any dryness you would experience from sodium lauryl sulfate. This one I specifically like to use to dilute my other body washes that I'm gonna talk about to make it last a little bit longer because this one on its own, while it works well, it's kind of boring. <laughs> but when you mix it with another formula, it helps to really kind of like, what's the word? Make the formula last longer. And I've had this for months and it was so cheap. I mean, it lasts for a really long time. I think the ingredient list is good. It's fine. It's like other Cetaphil products. Works well. That's all you need. But I specifically like mixing that one with two different body washes, one of which being the Molten Brown Orange and Bergamot Body Wash. This one. Okay, I will admit. <laughs> it is bougie. It's very, very bougie. Oh my God, the smell is incredible. And I know you guys may be thinking, higher on fragrance. I know, I know. I'm actually fine with fragrance in body washes. First of all, fragrance in a cleanser formula, I don't find problematic because it rinses off in 30 seconds, but specifically for the body, the body, like I said before, is a lot more resilient than the face. It can handle a lot more. And being that I do think it is fun to utilize at least one part of the skincare routine with a little bit of fragrance, I think the body wash is the most fun part. And this one I have loved for years. I think this is probably my fourth or fifth bottle that I've used over the past few years. The smell is just, oh my God, intoxicating. It smells like sexy orange cocktail on a night out, I think. Yeah, I don't know how to describe it. It smells so good. I remember when I was in high school, I got a tiny little bottle from like a friend. I don't know how they had gotten it when they were traveling and got it in a fancy hotel. They gave it to me. I made that thing last for months. <laughs> it was this smell because I was so obsessed with it. And I was like, whatever the smell is, it is intoxicating. It's incredible. And once I moved here to OI and I found it in a luxury department store, I was like, yes, I found it. This is my favorite. So, so, so good. If you want an invigorating experience and I make it last a lot longer than it's supposed to by mixing it with the Cetaphil wash. Great combination. The other one that's very similar to that one that I've recently discovered and almost a dupe is the Necessaire, the body wash. And this one is the bergamot flavor as well. For some reason, I just really like bergamot body washes. It's something like, maybe it's, you know, in the morning that, that scent that kind of wakes you up. I don't know. This one is very similar to the molten brown one. I will say I like the molten brown smell a little bit more, but I've mixed those two together. Well, it creates a really cool, like citrusy cocktail smell, but I also love this one because of the packaging. It has like a twist cap where you can just squeeze and it comes out really easily. And I honestly really like this packaging. I put multiple of my body washes in this packaging and I'm probably gonna reuse it because that's just how much I like it. Oh my God, of course, I forgot to say, uh, I also love this one because of the ingredients. It has really gentle surfactants. It's formulated with niacinamide, sugar extract, apple, green tea, marula oil, so many good ingredients. I've talked about Necessaire before in my videos. I just feel like they have really high quality body skincare. And while they do have a bergamot scent, they also have a fragrance free one as well, if you wanna use that. And yes, it is more luxury, but if you're wanting a really high quality body skincare formulas, Necessaire is definitely the brand to go to. 
to. Next is body moisturizers. The first one, I've talked about this one before as well, is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Body Gel Cream. Now, I'm not a big body cream person. Like I said, it's really humid here in Hawaii. Your skin always feels soft and hydrated, but I also sometimes like using a body cream before I go to bed in case my skin is feeling a little bit dry or something that I can use when I travel to the mainland. And this formula is awesome. It's such a lightweight gel cream that really quickly absorbs into the skin, but it actually packs a punch for hydration. As far as the ingredients, it has like standard hydrating ingredients. It's formulated with glycerin as well. That's the second ingredient actually, and it's fragrance free, which I definitely like. The Hydro Boost line from Neutrogena is like hit or miss for me. And usually I feel like for the face products that are a little bit overpriced for how simple the formulas are, but this is definitely a unique formula that I haven't found with other brands. It's just such a nice lightweight texture. And I think a great product for anyone who's trying to get into body skincare and moisturizing the body, but doesn't want to feel like sticky, overhydrated, heavy, or you know, those types of things. And then for hand creams, I have two that I absolutely love. One I've talked about before. <laughs> Sorry, I keep saying that. I feel like I've talked about so many of these products before. Maybe I do need to delve more into body skincare. Let me know your recommendations down below because I would love to hear the products that you guys are obsessed with because I need all the recommendations I can get. It is the Gold Bond Ultimate Hand Cream. This product, oh my God, saved my hands. When I was in the mainland, I had really bad eczema on my hands to the point that they, every single day, they would crack and bleed, like blood running down my hands. It was not cute. Definitely not what you want people noticing as an insecure middle schooler. And I went through so many hand creams and most of them I would have to apply at least eight times throughout the day in order to keep my hand cracking at bay and nothing worked until, <laughs> I feel like an advertisement, until I found this one, honestly. This is just an incredible hand cream. It's so emollient. It really locks in the hydration on the hands. It's completely rescued my hands. I'd only have to use this once or twice in a day and my hands would never bleed. My mom and I actually struggled from the same issue and we got like a huge container that we would just go through so fast because we'd struggled so much, but it's honestly incredible and I recommend it to anyone who does have eczema. I think this is a great product. And then a recent find as well is the Skin Fix Eczema Hand Repair Cream. I have been loving this one to hydrate my hands after using so much hand sanitizer throughout the day. I'm sure you guys can relate, but using so much hand sanitizer and washing your hands constantly actually got to the point to where like my skin was peeling up. It was getting so dry because I was doing it so much. And so I always have this in the car with me to moisturize my hand when I need. And I love the brand Skin Fix because they use a lipid complex that really helps to repair and restore the skin's moisture barrier. And while this is a little bit more expensive of a formula. It has collodial oatmeal, which is great for eczema prone skin, allantoin, oat oil, shea butter, and so many good hygiene ingredients. Like looking at this ingredient list, uh, I was like, wow, this is a really good product. And I think there's a reason why it has won so many awards because this is a very popular product and definitely has my stamp of approval. Next is my most recent find. And I will admit I have not used this enough to get my full thoughts on, but I think the product is so cool and so innovative that I had to bring it up in this video. It's the Verse Backup Plan Acne Control Body mess. Now you guys have asked me a lot about how to control acne on your body and it's a difficult thing. I usually recommend facial salicylic acid cleansers and just use them on your body as a great way to prevent it. But for leave-on treatments, it's difficult to find a good acne control product that isn't either going to feel really heavy on your skin or isn't formulated with really stripping and irritating ingredients. And for me, because I've been working out a lot more recently, I have been struggling with some body acne and I'm like, I don't want to use any like topical creams or serums because they could be too heavy on my skin. And they're a little bit more difficult to apply, but this is so cool because it's a mist that's formulated with 2% salicylic acid. So the highest concentration of salicylic acid that you can get. Such a cool way of applying it. I feel like anyone who is like a student athlete or just an athlete in general that does struggle with like back acne or body acne, this is definitely a product you would want to get because the ingredient list is great. It's not going to overly strip your skin and best of all, well, maybe not best of all, but I think it's really cool. It's a non-pressurized can. One reason I don't like mist for skincare is that usually it comes in a metal can that isn't able to be recycled and the actual process of misting it is really bad for the environment. But this one, somehow they managed to do it in a recyclable bottle that has a continuous mist. And I've used a lot of this so far and you can't even tell, like it's insane. This will last forever. I don't know, I'll keep you updated on how this works when I struggle with body acne, but I just feel like I have to mention it because I think it's so innovative. It's just a really cool product. And the last two products are my summer favorites. First off, the Target Aloe Vera Gel. I talked about this one in my How to Get Rid of a Sunburn video. This by far is the best aloe vera gel that I found on the market. It's just really simple. Simplistic. It has a good ingredient list, a high concentration of aloe, as opposed to a lot of other aloe vera gels that are formulated with a crazy high concentration of denatured alcohol, which I'm just like, why the hell would you do that? Ugh, it's manipulating customers. I hate it. But this one's a really good formula. It's super cheap, fragrance free, also dye free. And I love leaving this in the fridge to cool and then applying it whenever I do happen to get a sunburn, which, you know, is not very often, but it does happen. I'm guilty of it as well. Definitely a good one for anyone out there. And then finally, my favorite body sunscreen that I have been using. You guys know I love to use mineral sunscreens, especially especially for my body 
body because I typically will most use body sunscreen at the beach. That's when I really apply it a lot and I don't want to use any chemical UV filters that are risky to coral reefs. I love the Astavita SPF 50 face and body sunscreen. Guys, this stuff is no joke. I was sent like a whole box of them by the brand and I didn't even know like I was going to get them, but I started using them and I love it. It's formulated with a crazy high concentration of zinc oxide, I mean SPF 50, so you're getting really good protection. It protects so well. The last time I got sunburn, you could see the distinctive line of no sunburn versus a ton of sunburn after I'd been out in the sun for like four or five hours. It performs really well. It's fragrance and irritant free and it has a very minimal white cast. Like my friends who do have darker skin tones were all using this product because they were like, wow, this is one of the only like mineral body sunscreens I've ever used that doesn't leave a heavy white cast and it doesn't feel super heavy or sticky either. Honestly, I love this one. Even though it is a smaller size, it's a really affordable price point on Amazon. But also buying more bottles if you do use a lot of this is not a problem, but I have been using quite a bit, a long ways to go for this one. I just highly recommend the sunscreen. I think it's a great option. Now before my camera dies, those are all the products that I wanted to talk about in today's video. What do you think of these products? Are any of them your favorite? Have you tried any of them before? Do you have any more recommendations that I would like to try? Please let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you again to Kosas for sponsoring this video and feel free to go to the link in the description box below to check out their deodorants. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week and I'll see you guys in the next one.